there was a point on stream just a couple of days ago where I thought this video just simply was not going to be a thing. Those of you that were there already know exactly what happened. Those of you that weren't can see on screen what we actually ended up with. A legendary fox in single player that trolled us at exactly 13.95, so 0 0.05 away from being a diamond. And at this point, I decided it's time to go into multiplayer. So I've basically got six hours today and I'm going to sink all six hours of that into Yukon multiplayer and maybe some single player if there's no servers up. And we're just going to see what we can come up with. I actually have a couple of multiplayer kills from the last couple of days while we were running around. I'll put those at the beginning of the video and we'll just get in here and see if we can manage one. I don't know if it's wishful thinking or if that actually is an albino female wolf, but apparently they just went into the fleeing state. All these wolves were kind of just stuck here stalking. That's really creepy with their eyes doing that, but I kind of thought it was an egg white and I was maybe trying to convince myself that it could have been albino, but the more that I got to looking at it, the more it actually did seem like it was. We're going to go up here and for one, hopefully these guys are going to flee because I'm getting a little bit worried about this particular server. I've been on it for a while and it's been fine. And actually I got the host. So I've been running around here at Red Fox drink time, but they're all kind of just standing around. That's actually a red brown uh, mythical. They did flee. That I can't even tell. I think is albino. It is. All right. Kind of a lame way to get it, but I am not going to complain. Bronze once again like our Melanistic from recently, but before anything happens, we are going to taxonomize that. I shot one of these about a year ago, and what happened was the game crashed, and I think it was like something to do with the entire server going down, because when I tried to go back into the game in multiplayer like and find the same host, the game was completely gone, so as much as I would have preferred to not have it kind of stuck fleeing in place, it is a thing that wolves and other predators do, and finally, we'll have that multi mount and our wolf collection complete. With that one, we'll have one of every fur type wolves can have in the trophy lodge. Well, that is certainly a welcome surprise. A 417 to 496 estimate level 5 caribou, and I've just recently been thinking of all the time we spent on Yukon, whether it's at night or in the morning running around looking for a diamond red fox, we are in caribou territory quite often, and we don't actually have, like, what I would call a current legitimate diamond caribou in the trophy lodge. We actually have one from when they were making diamond around 400. And, I mean, it was a legitimate diamond at the time, but that one scores 401, and the diamond requirement now is for 30. So we don't actually have one above that in the lodge, but I think with that rag, this guy should actually make it. So when he lifts his head, I wanted to get a heart shot in there, but that's probably going to be even double lung with the 303. And it might not be our diamond red fox, but it very well may be a diamond caribou, which, like I said, we kind of need for the trophy lodge still. I want to say that's like the mid-tier diamond racks. We'll see what he ends up scoring. 443, so that would be the case. We were just behind the heart there, kind of through the shoulder blade. But yeah, nice to get like a proper diamond caribou. We'll definitely send that to the trophy lodge and we'll have to find a place for him somewhere because I don't want to take down the one that we have. I really just happen to like the rack of that one that I mentioned that scored, I think, 401. So we'll have to find a different place, but that's nice to actually kind of get that out of the way. Regardless of how the next six hours go, I certainly won't be able to complain. I mean, we got two of the three animals that we really were still kind of missing from Yukon, but if we can make it a trifecta and get that diamond fox today, that would just be amazing. And I think really because I'm going to be spending so much time out here, we'll pretty much only include the best kills and we'll sort of see what we can come up with. I'm really hoping that with enough time spent, we can run into something good. We'll just have to hope that it's going to be a level nine fox that doesn't troll this time. For a map that's been producing trophies so frequently, it's been pretty slow thus far, but that at least would be a guaranteed goal with a red fox. I want to stop it out there just because the angle we have is not that good. And I think if we stay 0 for 300, and then keep that kind of low, should be a long shot. At least we're going to have a gold red fox to, at least in some capacity, start out here. I mean, we did actually just get a hold of this server and switch it to red fox drink time, and I will say, for level 7, 11.5 is pretty big, so please with that at the very least. And 
Yeah, maybe now that we actually have it during their drink time, we can just see a higher number of them and hopefully run into a good one. I mean, at least we're seeing some decent sized red fox now. Another level seven. So once again, if we can make the shot a guaranteed gold and a lower estimate. So I think he's likely gonna be probably a little smaller than the last level seven we shot. We'll take a look here and see. He actually is 11.4, so pretty much the same size. A couple of good sized red fox from this server. So maybe there's something to this one. I'm not too sure where it is, but we do have a max weight fox track here. There's tracks at a couple of different places. This must be where he fled from. Or that's him walking to the zone. Somewhere here there has to be fleeing tracks, but maybe this will be the one. This is in the pretty much exact same area as the troll one from the stream. So fingers crossed we can find him and he turns out to be what we're actually after here. Oh boy. A level 9 again, 11 to 14 estimate. Okay. Round 2, in this area, it's actually a lower estimate. The one on stream was 12 to 15, but I'm trying to go with the idea that so many animals are right at the top of their um, score estimate, and if he's anywhere in that 14 range, he makes it. 14 is the requirement, so... We need to follow him to a place uh, where we can actually get a shot. Oh, uh, that could be an odd situation, leaving reserve. Will he come back on his own? I mean, I guess that's what we'll do, just sort of back off and see if he comes this way. That's quite an odd circumstance that we don't often encounter. I'm almost sure that I can hear it. It sounds like there's something trotting right in front of us. I just can't see anything. Did that... I saw like a track there for half a second. I don't think it was there before. The question is, if that's it, which it almost has to be, is it at any point here going to be in sight? I think it should be. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Let's sort of alert it just super gently. I don't want to take a moving shot just in case. How does he not see us? How does he not see us? Okay. Was not about to let such an easy shot go by. In under 24 hours, two level 9 fox down. Please be the one. Yes, 14.1. Oh my god. <laughs> this grind has just about broken me. I've... I've been to the point of just not wanting to continue so many times, hitting taxidermize before anything weird happens. 14.1. He was a 14.3 nearly weight, so that's a very low trophy rating, and I talked about this on the stream. Our other fox weighed 13.93 kg, and you can see, even though they are scored by weight, it's not exact with the trophy rating, and this guy is almost 0.2 lower trophy rating than his weight. And they can be higher as well. Like, that last fox certainly could have made it. I don't even care. We got our time in Red Fox before the new map. I really didn't think it was going to happen. After that level 9 showed up on the stream, and after it trolled, I didn't see it happening. But, had the time today, hit multiplayer, and it worked. We got our time in Fox. I don't really have much else that I intend to do with this video. Um, we've pretty well gotten everything off of Yukon that we've ever needed over the course of this grind. And quite honestly, I think we're going back to the Trophy Lodge. I have no reason to stay. I'm so elated right now and relieved to be done. That grind, it's taken away so much time to do other things. Like... There's so many times that I want to do something in Call of the Wild, but I felt the pull to go and hunt Fox and try to get that done. And we're finally done. Nothing against our little piebald, but this multi amount has been saved for a diamond red fox for forever. And we're finally going to get to place it. And we still have to go and place the other stuff, but today is June 15th, so if we can actually find where that's at. We officially have, as we've placed that, a diamond of every single species on the new scoring system in this trophy lodge and I know we're very close to not having that again with the new map on the way but 
I'm pleased to finally have it at that point. It took about a year and four months from the release of the new system until now. That's such a cool thing. Let's go and get our other stuff placed. I dismantled the bison multi-mount already to put the albino wolf in with the Mountastic bison and max score wolf. And this, yet again, is one we've been working on for quite some time. Nothing like what we went through to get the diamond red fox. But now we actually have one of every fur type for the wolves in the lodge. We have the common and the albino in there. And then if we can make sure we go the right direction, I think it is down this way. We have the Melanistic egg white and red brown all in here. And we actually ended up with two diamonds since this red brown happened to be a diamond as well. I really like that. I think that's cool to have every fur type the wolves can have in the lodge as well. But the last thing we got to do is determine where we're going to put our caribou. I'm not sure what to take down just yet. We'll kind of have a run around and look at everything. I mean, we do have the bigger diamond reindeer in this multi-mount anyway, so I don't think it's a bad thing to switch the caribou out for that. And I think it was actually the same score, or maybe a little bit lower. I'm pretty sure the reindeer we took down was 447. But a 443 diamond caribou, as I mentioned, I feel like we're going all over the place kind of explaining left out details, but the only diamond caribou we have on the new system in, in this lodge is this guy here, which is a 401.5 from when I think 400 or 401.3 was a requirement. I just really like the rack. It's got like split tines in the back and I never want to take that one down. I just think it looks really, really cool. But to go back to what this video was meant to go after, a diamond red fox, it was almost 14.2. I think it said 14.18 there in the trophy manager. I'm just so glad to finally have that out of the way and I think at this point there's not a whole lot left that I specifically wanted to go after and Albino Sika is one of them but maybe if we get the chance we'll try that in Te Aorua multiplayer. Single player their response have been a little bit weird but the new map is around the corner and I'm sure we'll have something that is going to take us a long time to grind in that as well but anyway that is going to do it for this video so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.